Hello fellow Simmers, it's Samuel Beeman of BLS here and today we're going to be looking at something new and something quite special as well. So these came out literally a few days ago by Slowline Simulations and they are the BR Green Class 0 Freeze uh, reskins by John Astley. And it's sort of a collab with um, Matthew Wilson of Vulcan Productions as well as I know that he's been uh, heavily involved on assets of this as well. So, what do I think of it? Well, so far, it's looking very nice indeed, isn't it? I mean, it's just great to see some BR Green O3s being produced for Train Simulator in a sort of nice, clean look. Uh, so, yeah, let's just, just take a look around them, I suppose. So, here we have the plain green O3 with the shed plate. Now, these are child object shed plates. They can be changeable. So obviously that's there, says 83D. The one over here says 52A. So they can be changed, which is obviously depending on the, um, the member of the class that you are, uh, you are using. So this is uh, D2183. It's built 1961 Swindon. I, I think, again, this is probably, I think there's another object. Uh, let's check the other one and see if... Yeah, see, that's 1960 Squindon, and that's 1961, so these are also changeable as well. And also, obviously, the numbers, again, are changeable as well. And yeah, so it's, um, apparently, it's, it's 4, 4K texturing, uh, so it's a very, very good quality reskin. Uh, we have the fantastic British Railways logo. Now that is just absolutely stunning, isn't it? So this is the uh, British Railways Lake Crest produced by Matthew Wilson of Vulcan Productions. Uh, if you don't know, this first appeared on the Class 40 that SLS were doing, the uh, D213 reskin pack uh, in the Indiana, which isn't, isn't released yet, but... Um, this first appeared and it was first announced on that particular reskin and it was it was announced in Railsim users group I believe but yeah it was just showing off just the detail of this and it's it's without a doubt the most detailed and high quality crest that we have in train simulator at the moment so yeah I don't think you can get a lot better than that so well done uh, Mr Wilson on that you've done such a fabulous job on recreating that late crest Grand job indeed. Uh, but it, the, the reskin as a whole does look very nice. It has been captured well. The green looks pretty much spot on, to be honest. Um, it's a very nice green. It's not too green. It's 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 the sort of perfect sort of dark green that you get on these these engines. Uh, we've got a nice clean buffer beam there. So a disclaimer, this is using the West Somerset Diesels Class 03, which comes with the West Somerset Diesels pack. Uh, so moving over to the Wasp Stripe version of the 03. Very nice, isn't it? We've got the, um, that's drawn on with precision, to be honest. There's not, I can't see any um, sort of, you know, any bleeds or something. I mean, we've got a slight thing out here, but then that's just around the bolt. That doesn't bother me at all. Uh, to be honest, that's probably like that in real life, in all honesty, it doesn't, doesn't bother me. But we've got, you know, very thin and, and like I say, very carefully drawn lining, I must admit. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, we have, um, obviously, we've got the red rods, as per the other one which are nicely drawn on there. Slight hint of weathering as well, and that's great because obviously the underframe would be slightly more dirty than the body because obviously under here is where all the oily substance go. Yeah, it does look very cool, doesn't it? Oh, we've got some green um, pipes here. I mean, are these meant to be green or are they meant to be a different colour? Uh, let me know on that, uh, John. Um, are they meant to be green or are they meant to be a slightly different colour than that. Yeah, I I'm not too sure. I see, same with these as well. Um, no, wait, these are black. That's, that's, that's all right, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, um, like I say, wasp stripes very nicely placed on it. 
it's it is very nice isn't it let's be honest I think are they 3d they are indeed look at that shed plates are 3d yeah very nice indeed so these are the ones that have the lamps so they have sort of lamps on the side and they can also be scripted so you can you've got like number keys and they can they can be put on the front of the low car i'll show you that when we start moving uh, and these ones don't have the lamps these just have uh, operatable lights via the keys and they don't have the lamps on the side as you can see that's the only difference between these to the other reskins so yeah again shed plates are different uh, and the builders plates are different as well as well as the numbers and yeah it's just it's brilliant really isn't it it really is they've both done a good job on these skins but yeah um before moving on to actually showing off the features of the scripted lamps and obviously moving off and doing some bits and pieces i'm just going to cade over to these and show off these so these are br blue class 03 reskins these have been produced by matilda bennett of british locomotive studios and basically well as you, as you're probably aware we have already released one of these and that's this one here the um br blue clean with yellow buffer beam the idea behind these two O3 reskins are to well were to create a more sort of a preservation livery for the Doncaster Works O3 because we are aware that some people have the BR Blue Pack one and some people have the Doncaster Works. In fact, the majority have the Doncaster Works but don't have the BR Blue Pack one, which is kind of confusing because obviously the BR Blue Pack is actually the better model. But you know, we just thought. Well, Matilda just thought of, of bringing this out to sort of give a more preserved variant for the Doncaster Works O3s. And basically, we are planning on doing an update for this BR Blue Plain Gold Clean Class O3. Um, and that is to add this version of it, which is the one with the black buffer beam. And because it, it just it just came to me that when we released this one, we just thought, I just thought, oh, well, it's just a clean blue O3 with yellow buffer beam, which is basically what we've seen before, because obviously you can get it in the BR Blue Pack. And yeah, we, we've basically seen that before. And so I thought, well, is there any way that we can make it sort of a bit different? So then I sort of did a bit of research on some of the blue O3s and noticed that one of the most common variants is the one with the black buffer beam and this was also common in the 70s as well and, and and all of that so it's actually it's funny really because DTG have done the one with the yellow buffer beam which is actually the rarer version of the BR blue than this one so this is the more common one and it's just interesting that DTG have decided to go along the route of doing the less common one when you would have thought that they would have done the more common one because obviously more were like this and obviously you can you can do more numbers like this so yeah with these you can sort of depict the, the preserved ones such as you know the Epping Onga ones which I've done here so we've got 03119 and then we've got 03170 both of these are preserved at the um, Epping Onga one of them does have the yellow buffers and the other one has the black buffers but yeah, it's I think it's it's a really nice reskin. I think she's done a fantastic job on creating these into into Train Simulator, and and I'm looking forward to updating it to have both of the blue O threes in 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 the pack. Really, um, I know that SLS and John Astley are planning on doing blue O threes as well to to sort of you know as similar to what they've done with the green O threes, but I would imagine that they're probably going to use the modern more updated br blue pack class 03 for them um just at a guess because obviously you know they would they would want the more up-to-date one to do all the bells and whistles to but i mean for what you get with these you know for the doncaster works one these are brilliant looking reskins and i can't knock them she has done such a grand job on it and i was really impressed when looking at it i was you know when when I first thought I thought oh it's just another blue O three no it's really not just another blue O three that 
the blue is spot on it's nice and clean there's a few bits of weather in here and there which is is, is a bit authentic really and it's great to see and yeah it's just it's lovely uh, um it's is a really nice bit of kit so you know if anyone wants some clean blue o threes for their doncaster works o threes head over to the bls website although i recommend waiting until the update comes along so you can get the black one as well so you get two in one you know kind of thing instead of having to re-download it to get it but yeah anyway forgetting those now because we have we've we've covered those we're going to move back on to what we are basically the, the you know the purpose of this video is and that is to review the sls class a freeze so without further ado we shall unpause our game and take a look at the many features that this uh, br green class a3 has so let's sort of scroll through the lamp options so obviously it's control one two three and four i believe for the front so we're gonna control one it see we've got one light there control two it's got the other light three four there we go we can also change these to red there we go and then we can also change them to lamps as well if we so choose and then we can also change those to red lamps if we so choose and obviously you know these these options I, I believe the back end is probably control seven eight and nine let's check it out so six seven eight nine okay it's not doing nine for some reason I don't know why that is oh it's five sorry my bad silly me yeah look at all these lamps and it also takes them off the side of the um, of the engine as well as you can see so the ones that are on the side are no longer on the side which is it's, it's kind of cool isn't it really anyway um so we shall remove all of these because they're just getting in the way now aren't they? okay there we are that's those done oh yes that's those done there we go so yeah um one thing I will say about it though is that um, it would have been nice to maybe perhaps just have one or two lamps on the side here. I know that they did it back in the day, they put lamps on here, you know, especially when shunting. But it will usually be like one or two, and there's four that side, and then four that side. And I think it, it's slightly overcrowded, I would say, and it would just be nice to have sort of a, you know, just a couple on the side, and then maybe the rest of them inside the body or something so you can't see them. Because uh, obviously I know they have to be on the model in order for them to show up on the front or the back. But I just think that it would be a bit more tidy if there was only a couple on here at a time sort of thing. But that's just my opinion anyway. But it's a fantastic little feature and I, I it's, it's really good to have it on it. Um, one other source of criticism I have for this, which I noticed, is the cab. Now it's it's nice it's good it's all it's all here and present the only thing is we still have the faded weathered roof of the basically default green west somerset 03 and obviously if we press 8 as you can see we have the clean roof on the top there it would be nice if the if the cab bonnet was actually reskinned to the actual livery but then to be fair it's green and at least it's green because if it's if it was blue or something then that, that would irritate somebody a little bit more you know what i mean at least it's green but it would be nice also if it was actually you know reskinned properly but to be honest they are my only gripes and gears with it there's not really much in the means of gripes and gears i do have with this i do really like them and it's it's, it's nice to have some green o3s in the game anyway Let's get this loco underway. So we're going to get some coaches from uh, this is the Trunley Close Railway Centre routes. This is from the uh, Bovis Junction. So we're going to um, make sure our points are set, and we're going to collect these coaches and then take them down to Lockett's Memorial. That's what we're going to do. So it's right away from me, and obviously you do get the standard horn. Which is yeah on the space. 
I do believe that John said something about having a looped horn with this, but I, this isn't really a looped, a looped horn that comes with it, so I don't know what's happened with that. But, oh well, doesn't bother me too much. Anyway, let's get underway and collect those coaches. So, To be fair, the default sounds on this ain't bad at all, really. There we go. So, ah, oh, yes, look, we've got our little window hang view. Look at that. Bit of O3 froth. <laughs> okay, right. Make sure our points are set. Yeah, we're going to go straight through Fisherman's Hulk and head down to. Memorial. So we are, we're all pretty much there, ready to go. But we obviously still have our signal at danger for some reason. Don't know why that is, but there you go. That's where line signals for you. Let's put some lamps on our front. So, that's one. That's two. There we go. We've got some lamps in front of our train. Look at that. So, take it away, Class 03. We shall depart for Lockett's Memorial. Right away. Look at all these O3s, look. <laughs> Let's go. We are struggling here. Oh, three shouldn't really struggle on four carriages. I hope this speeds up soon, otherwise we'll be here forever.
Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool, isn't it? We get some nice photos in there. Get some screenshots. Oh, my God, it's so slow. Why is it so slow? It's supposed to be going like twenty eight miles an hour by now. Is it the handbrake or something? No, see, that's putting it on then. I'm going to do, I want to knock it down a bit. Now, see, that's made it even worse. Why is it struggling on four coaches? That's just, that, that shouldn't happen. Oh, you know what, we'll be here all day, if we, you know what I mean, <laughs> but anyway, okay, so let's just, um, let's just forget about that, because obviously it's just going to take forever and it will take a longer time for me to upload this video if I just carry on the way we are, but um, yeah, so summary then, what's my thoughts on the SLS Class 03 shunters in BR Green? Well, I think they're really quite nice. Um, Oh, oh, um, I mean, they are very clean and quite smart, and they um, like pretty matte as well. And yeah, I just I think that it's nice to have some green O threes in the game, and it's it's very nice to see all of these features added to it. You know, with all the changeable numbers, the fantastically detailed crest. So yeah, guys, go ahead and get them. I shall link the SLS Slowline Simulations website in the description of the video. I think these are definitely worth going to get. And yeah, thank you for watching my video and review on these O3s. Very impressed with them. I look forward to seeing what other O3s can be uh, can be created in the future. So, thank you for watching, guys. This has been Samuel Beeman of British Locomotive Studios. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We are soon heading up to that. 500 subscriber mark which is going to be fantastic so we can finally do our subscriber special so keep subscribing so we can actually get to that milestone and yeah i'll link our socials in the description as well so you get to see our discord and facebook as well as our website all in the description of the video so yeah so go ahead check out all the links and i'll see you soon in another video and yeah thank you for watching my review of the sls class o freeze impressed with them. Matt and John have done a good job on these. And yeah, well done guys. Goodbye for now.